In a world where everyone is competing for attention, you need to learn the skill to draw people into your vision and idea. This is the most valuable skill you can learn for content creation. Hello friend and welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about the most valuable skill you need to learn if you want to be a successful content creator. If you're serious about building a personal brand and growing on social media, there is absolutely one skill you cannot ignore. And that is persuasive communication. Hook people in through your messaging and keep them coming back for more. Give them good value and they will become a fan. Whether you want to attract followers, sell products, or just get people to watch your videos, it all starts with good communication. In this piece of content, I'm going to take a deep dive into the importance of learning how to communicate effectively, which will allow you the ability to spark interest and hold attention through your content. So to start things off, how do we actually spark interest? We've all heard that hooks are important and the first three seconds of your video is the most important, but what actually makes a good first three seconds of a video? Well, let's Let's dive in. Think about it like this. Every time you post on social media, you're bidding for some random person's attention. Attention is one of the most valuable things you can give someone. No one wants to waste their time. And attention is the new currency in the digital age. If you can generate enough attention, everything else will fall into its place naturally. This is probably the most important part of your business. You can have shitty marketing, sales, branding, lead generation, a service, fulfillment, literally everything. But if you have the attention and you have enough eyeballs, some people will buy. It's not to say that you have to ignore the rest, but I'm just trying to say that attention is the most important driving factor to start anything in life. You really wouldn't need to learn much else if you can gain attention to make a full-time living online. If you can master the art of persuasion, you will not only get views, but you will be able to convince or persuade people into getting what you want. And this is not in a narcissistic way. You just need to show people your value and show people what you have to offer. If you're lying or you have nothing to offer and you persuade people into believing that, then you'll be unethical. This can work with all domains in life, including dating. If you're single and looking for a partner, you need to convince someone of your value and what you have to bring to the relationship. If you wanted someone to buy your service, you also need to convince them that there's enough value there for it to be worth it. And if you do bring enough value, then people will keep coming back for more. Hence why bad businesses will always fail in the end. You need an actual good product to be able to maintain your business, regardless of the attention and persuasion. That being said, if you had a good business with no persuasion and no attention, nothing would really happen. No one would know about your business. So in our content, we need to spark interest in people to learning more about what we do. And if we don't spark their interest into consuming good content and educational content like this, then it will go off to random bullshit that's actually not healthy for them. I touch on this a little bit later. You were at one point convinced that your hobbies, topics, interests were worth learning about and could benefit your life. Or you just found entertainment in it through that persuasion. You thought it was interesting. So you decided to learn more about it and then it became a skill and part of your identity in your life. Therefore, as creators, it is our job to sell people on our own interests and passions. I need to be able to convince someone that it is important to start creating content and to start learning more about persuasive communication. So we can do this by actually posting the content on social media in this open market of attention. When you do post content, people are not going to give you a second chance. They're not going to wait through the boredom of your four second long introduction or your shitty audio quality or just a bad message. You have to convince them to watch your video and then we can guide people into consuming positive educational content instead. So study your own behavior when you scroll. If you're not convinced that this video is going to be good in the first 0.5 seconds to two seconds, you'll be gone. You are probably pretty hard to impress. We all are. It's human. No one wants to waste their time. So you have to make sure that the quality of content that you're posting is good enough so people actually wait around to watch your videos. Prevent the adversary. If you do not learn how to create your own persuasive communication and learn to further and elevate the human consciousness, then people will result to harmful, bad brainless content. If creators like us, the ones that appreciate value-based content, do not learn the skills of persuasive communication, then people will only be left to watch harmful prank videos, softcore porn videos, and satisfying videos with brain hacking attention tactics, which I personally don't like. This is when 
social media becomes detrimental to people's lives instead of beneficial. This is the same harmful content that serves no purpose in life. This is the same content that acts as a drug as an escape of reality for people. This is the same content that's addictive like a drug that helps people escape reality. The same content that you binge for hours and you end up wasting your life over. The same content that doesn't help you relax and instead hijacks your brain into doomless scrolling and a dopamine hamster wheel. This type of content will not help anybody in the world progress towards their goals, dreams, further their education, anything that's exciting in life is gone if you do not learn how to create content. This is who we're competing against. And here's the good part. If you affect and impact enough people in a positive way and you impact their lives big enough, you will get paid and you will get paid very generously. The amount of money you make is determined by how many people you help times the amount you help them. For example, the most valuable companies in the world, let's say Amazon, help millions and billions of people in a small way. Apple helps maybe less people, but in a bigger way. Most of us have thousand dollar devices all at our fingertips, multiple of them sometimes. Apple and Amazon created a big impact for a lot of people. Therefore, they are valued at trillions of dollars. Therefore, it would be very unlikely if you grew your newsletter to 30,000 like-minded individuals and help them along their journey and not make the average American salary in just one month. So this leads all back to how we're actually gonna create persuasive content. Well, we have to start with your hook, that first two seconds of the video. Your hook is your first initial chance at grabbing attention. You have to assume that they don't know who you are and they've never seen your videos before. So why should they stick around? Your hooks need to include a polarizing statement or a cliffhanger followed by credibility of why they should watch this video and the importance of what they're gonna get out of this video and then immediately follow in with the actual payoff of the video. And this is specifically for short form content. In YouTube formats, this would be a little bit longer. Next, you need to learn your audience. What do they actually like listening to? What are viral topics that typically do well in your niche? What do they care about and what do they not care about? Do some research as you scroll. What is some pain points? What are common problems that people have? What are interesting topics that people have? You can also make videos about a hot take or an unpopular opinion and then hope that it's a little controversial or adds a new flavor to your niche. The more you understand, the more targeted you can be towards that specific person and you can stand out and really scratch their inner interests. But please keep your content broad and for beginners only. If you create niched content, there's just not enough people to be able to make content for. You're not going to be able to take advantage of the parabolic nature of social media growth if only 20,000 people in the whole world will understand what you're saying because it's an advanced topic. You're better off taking a few steps back and teaching the general population uh, about your interests and topics from a beginner standpoint. Next, you can tell stories in your content. Facts are great, but stories are what actually make people feel. Share your journey, wins, and struggles. Be authentic, be a human. Stories create those emotional connections with people. When people feel connected, they're way more likely to trust you more and actually join the journey that you're starting. Next, you wanna create value for people. What's in it for them? What's the actual actionable advice that they get to walk away from after watching your video? Why should they even stick around in the first place? Solve problems for people, give people new insight, give people entertainment if you're not an educational creator. All of my viral topics are broad and easy to understand. I give actionable advice, something that anybody can really make sense of. For example, never post your videos in 4K, got 2 million views. I've made that video three different times and it's got hundreds of thousand views each time. It's controversial, it's easy to understand, you get actionable advice, I'm helping people, the hook is good, it checks all the boxes. So if you're looking to grow on Instagram, these are the types of things you need to consider when making viral videos. Next is polarization. Be polarizing through your voice, tone of voice, and expression. If you carry your voice and message with conviction, more people will be interested and have a stronger emotional pull of what you have to say. No one wants to listen to someone that isn't sure about their opinions, topics, or ideas. No one wants to listen to someone who's shy, wishy-washy, and can't make up his mind. Be confident about your ideas and speak with conviction, but don't be closed-minded. You should still be open-minded, learning as you go. The truth is you need to combine all of these and practice making content. Make 
60 pieces of content, 90 pieces of short form content before you expect to see any results. And getting views, attention, and shares online should be the goal. People need to watch your content. If you're not getting views, you're not going to be growing. If you're too niche or specific, you're not going to get any views and you're going to waste your time. A lot of people always ask me that they want to be niche and they have a certain demographic that they want to hit. But the reality is if they don't get any views in the first place, no one is ever going to know about them in general. Your offer and niche can be specific, but the ideas and topics need to be broad. Your content is broad and then you get more and more specific as they go down your funnel. So your YouTube videos and newsletter can be a little more specific and then your offer can be the most specific. I help entrepreneurs to grow on social media and monetize their personal brand. That is my offer. It's for entrepreneurs specifically and people who want to make a full-time living online. My content is very broad. This video is about persuasive communication for content creation as a whole. Anyone can really understand and enjoy this style of video if they enjoy my communication style. And my communication style is always being learned because I make videos and I actually put myself out there to start my content creation journey. So the more effective you can communicate, then the more people you can attract. Then the bigger community you can grow and the easier it is to monetize. So please start practicing persuasive communication today and continue to have good morals in your life. Experiment with this type of communication in your content, in your messages, comments, and texts, and in real life social interaction. This is just basic human to human communication. Even though I'm just talking to a camera, it's technically to other people. See what resonates and redefine how you talk to people over time. This is just an, this is just an ongoing experiment that you need to just start and then see how it goes. If you have any more questions or want to see my full script template, hook template, and how I make my content, join the free school community and there's a full one hour guide on how to launch your personal brand in three days. If you like my content and you're completely sold, I have a private paid community, which is linked down below. And this includes a full course of how to create content, access to weekly group calls and everything else I offer. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.